Jacob, Oklahoma State's a team that might be on, on the right side of that bubble right now. I mean, how big is that game? I know they're all big right now, but does that make it a little more important? Yeah, you know, we feel like every game we play now is like our life, you know, so it's like it's live or die. So when we're out there, you know, and, and it's, either, it's a loose ball, you know, I'm, in the huddles we're telling ourselves, man, we got to get every loose ball, every rebound, anything that we can get, we got to get it. And it's like living for our lives, you know. It's not like we're playing – just to play like, okay, we ain't got no postseason hope or we're playing like we're in already. We're playing, we're fighting now. It's not like we're just playing basketball. We feel like we're actually fighting teams just to get in. You win that game and you probably get the first round by. I mean, three of you are at eight and six right now. You'd have the tiebreaker against every team. Does that make the game more special? Yeah, you know, we need, we need is we could get that day off in the Big 12 and get that by, you know, and then that's, that's, that's less of a game for us, you know. We can just play two, three games to get the three games to get to the championship, two games to get to the championship. That's what we can do, you know. And as a team, we're looking forward to any opportunity that we can get, you know. And we want to play good teams again. So, you know, playing Oklahoma State, then playing Colorado, then going into the Big 12. We probably, if we get the bout, we'll end up playing a good team. And we need that to get in. Darren, what about the importance of the bye and that game? Well, Bye is always nice, like Jake said. We had it last year. I mean, it's another day off, fresh legs. Um, and know that you're one step closer to that championship game to, for that automatic bid, um, which will be very nice. Um, but it's basically just, you know, keeping us fresh. If we get these next two wins, like you said, we should be able to get that by and, uh, you know, keep us, uh, keep our minds fresh and, and get ready for that, that second round. Darren, is this week any different for you as the last week of your final regular season? Is this any different for you than any other? Um, of course, it's a little different because next Saturday is obviously senior day and my, and my last go-around here at Bramlage, which is special. Um, but, I, you know, I, I'm trying to just stay focused on Tuesday, not kind of get worked up in the, in the, you know, all the ceremonies or anything like that and the emotion in it. Um, deal with that next Saturday, but um, I, I'm really excited just to go into Stillwater on Tuesday because we've been talking about it all week, you know, we get these next two wins and um, we look good to get in, so, you know, we keep playing hard, we, we finish our schedule all right, we play hard in the Big 12 and we can deal with everything else, but definitely next week is, is special, my family's coming in town, everyone's coming in to, to see the last game for Alvin, so I'm looking forward to it. Hey Jake, I, mean, I know you guys still have a long ways you want to go, but uh, to get a 21s with this team, how, how significant is that? It's great, you know, to, to be here this summer and work out and just to see, you know, what all the people in the magazines and stuff were saying, how we were going to be ninth in the Big 12 and six wins and stuff like just uh, irrational stuff, things that, you know, you would think that we had had five high school kids that were sophomores playing for K-State, you know, the way they predicted us. And to get the 20 wins again, it says a lot about Coach Martin, you know. A lot of people give him, give him a lot of trash about how he's not a good coach and all this stuff, but he did it with Mike and with Bill, and now he's doing it again with no All-Americans, just, just players who he recruited, hard-nosed players that he wanted, you know. And that just says a lot about our team and our coaching staff. Good job. I was just curious, Mitch Richmond talked to you guys at all? you have any contact with him at all? Yeah, he came in the locker room after the game, you know, told us that, you know, he liked our, liked our style of play and things like that. And he was proud to see us playing that hard and, and you know, just talked about how he, how he have, had a great time here at K-State. Jake, what's it say about Darren that he gets the knockdown and he's right back in the game a minute later? A few games ago, he's out and he's right back in. What's it say about his work ethic? He's a tiger. That's <laughs> <laughs> respect, man. He's a tiger. Oh my he gets knocked down. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he got right <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, what you expect, man? It's I told y'all we fight, man. We're not just playing basketball anymore. We stopped playing basketball after we lost to Missouri. We fight now. We got we fighting every day to control our own destiny. And DK, this is last year. He didn't want to just sit there and, and watch the game, you know, injury or not. He's probably going to deal with the injury tomorrow, you know, get get treatment for it and stuff. So, you know, the adrenaline is going. He felt he was able to get back in, and he made a big shot for us. DK, how about his ankle? Yeah, just uh, buckled on one of the uh, Cookie Miller drove, and I kind of got 
tangled his legs and the ankle just buckled and uh, so it's, it's a little sore right now, a little tender and we'll uh, you know, deal with it tomorrow and see how it feels. But definitely play on <laughs> Tuesday, there's, there's no doubt about that. Anything else for these guys? Yeah, one last thing. Gucci oh. played the 20 minutes tonight. Um, do you still do with any of that, uh, I don't know, kind of being afraid that if you do something bad, you're going to get pulled out of the game? Um, no, because if you do, if you think like that, then you're going to do something bad. You know, I just go on the court, just ready to compete. Whenever our friend comes down the bench, Bucci, you know, I jump up, take my shooting shirt off and check in, you know. If you, go, if, if you ever have that mentality that you're going to make a mistake, you're going to make a mistake. You know, you have to be open-minded and just go out and just, just go hard. You know what I'm saying? Go hard and make a mistake. And Coach Mario understands. But if you make a mistake and you're not going hard, then that's when he, that's when he gets mad. Thanks, everybody.